Right, so today we're doing crossroads, yeah. carrying on from last time. Yeah. So, do you remember we said about going around the front or going around the back? Yes. Which one is which? Like a lights and not lights? So, one? the ones around the back is not lights, most likely. Yeah. And the one in front is traffic lights, most likely. It's not always, you said, it's not always yeah. going to be the case. Um, I think it's part of intuition as well, so mm. you can gather it when you get there as well. But I know you have to plan ahead sometimes yeah. as well. I'll draw this in because I know yeah. last time I drew this, you couldn't really see it on the video. I've got your wiper uh, with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a bit better because I had this start there, you can't see it on the video, so I have to do sort of yeah, yeah, that's here, fine. all there. <laughs> so, just to explain what we're doing, I'll draw this in and I'll hold it up to the camera so it's a bit easier to see. So, it's like I'm teaching two people. <laughs> teaching you and them so if you're there and you're going to turn right yeah. and they're there and they're going to turn right just to go over what we're saying about why does it not work if you go around the back of each other this is when there are lights you've got traffic lights there and there because you're going to be blocking them aren't you if you go behind you'll be blocking that yeah these don't matter but what about them Imagine behind you're... yeah behind that there you'll be blocking yeah. them so if you're there and they come around the back of you and by there, what happens if there's more traffic? You stop in the view as yeah. well. We saw these people behind you block them. Yeah. And then the people behind them yeah. block you. I'll just show people that if that makes any sense on there, because it's not, not the best diagram. <laughs> so if you go in the back, you seem to get in the way of each other. It doesn't work. So if I go around the front, you rub that, I'd be better now. I'm just bored, be better. <laughs> so if you go around the front like this, you're not so much blocking that car's all over the place. <laughs> so you're not blocking each other because you're not in the way. So yeah. Like something like that. So it's all going around the front, not around the back. So we're going to have a look at those. It's much easier to actually do it than explain it. Because yeah. it sounds sound quite complicated. It's not that hard when you do it. So is there anything specifically you want to go over on this before we get there about uh, that or any other kind of crossroads? No. Yeah. Think... So we're going to do it. It's, well, I got confused last time, didn't I, because of the junk, uh, the rule of the yellow box. Oh yeah, the yellow box, yeah. what does that mean? So now I know it is basically, if your exit's free, you can go. Yeah, that's um, it. But if it's not free, then obviously you wait behind the yellow box. That's it. So if you're turning right and your exit's clear, that's fine. Yeah. What do you do if you're waiting to go right and there was a traffic jam there? You'd wait. Yeah. What if you wait and the car's behind the start? beeping and getting aggressive and waving at you to go because that will often happen just leave them yeah because yeah, they... yeah they often don't see sometimes they'll go around you then they get stuck themselves yeah, they realize. <laughs> then they ask you right so right, let's go so i won't say much on the way that's up to you i'll give you directions but um i won't be saying much about how to do it okay right so let's go so no neutral and turn because <laughs> if you go you turn on you've already turned on the gear so it's all neutral turn on then you go back into gear I see what you mean by the window yeah. now. <laughs> I thought yeah, you meant the, the back, back window, back. yeah. The backside right. window is a bit misty because it's autumn in the morning and I'll clear quite soon. Should like I was saying on the way, you don't have to have that back window even there. So if you drive a van, you won't have a back window. Yeah. So you don't legally have to be able to see out of it. But it's a good idea if you can. So, I won't be talking too much, <coughs> and the less I'm saying, the better you're doing. The last time I stopped too close to a parked car to let someone through. Mm. Where was I'm sorry, where I was? Um, by the pub, the Crown, remember? When I slowed down. The Crown, which one? Is it the Crown? And I'll assess the road when there was crossroads. Oh, the crossroads, yeah. yeah. That's all about that van, you know, when you're at all. So round about right. That's good. Where else can you look on that one? Left quickly. <laughs> yeah, because what could be going on? Speed. Yeah, so that van behind there fine, but if they were flying down. Yeah. I have at times, you've probably seen this yourself if around here where you, you go to go out, but you can't because people are flying down Bells Lane this road, and you just have to be right. Even though you've got right of way, you won't get it. Yeah. There's 
there's actually a new rule. I saw this in two days ago thinking about a new rule in the Highway Code. Okay. So think about who, what was it now? I'll go over that in a sec when you've dealt with this. Yeah. That's good. He bikes on the left. That's, that's when it'll that's come I need to keep yeah. remembering that. So th this rule is something about signalling on roundabouts. So if you if you don't give way on a roundabout, you have thoughts or something. I can't remember what it is now. But there's okay. some changes to the highway code. This is a great example of we are going to go straight on. <coughs> But why can't, even though it's dead clear ahead, why can't you just go straight on without Because there could be someone that could just fly out. No, no, see. Without seeing you. No, we have right way, but you can't just fly over and smash them, so it's your fault. That's good. It's something about not signalling properly, and if you don't look to the right and give way to the right, then you will swing. I can't remember. Yeah. It's one new one in. So next roundabout, we'll go left, first exit. That's good checking that mirror. I've heard last week, just after our lesson, somebody got stabbed in at McDonald's. Yeah. And it was all shut. Shut for deliveries only. as well to explain what you're doing and why you're doing it no, as well as no, you go because on. because you can hang yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's best to say nothing. It's not if you get arrested. <laughs> say nothing. Come on. That's good. Come on. Either way is good there. If it bangs there, what's that tell you? It's too low speed. Yeah, I was just thinking there's a car. I don't know what. Yeah. I was getting back. No, I don't recommend saying too much because if you sail off all this and this and this and if you get it all wrong, it looks worse. Yeah. So I know the idea, but just don't say any more than you need to. Because I noticed that DGN driving, he was doing a mock test with an instructor. So straight on second exit. Straight on second exit. And he was saying what he was doing. I was like, that's a good idea, maybe? No, it's not. <laughs> That bang, why is that bang? Because it was too high speed again. That's it. What do you need to do when you come off? That's it. No, because I've had people in the past and have said, oh, the examiner said to them, can you parallel park? And they've said, oh, I always get this wrong. <laughs> why would you tell them that? No, why have you you'd kind of try it when you're first. <laughs> now that's only advanced driving. That okay. I suppose he's doing it for the te uh, yeah. camera. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it's not good to um it's only like selling a house, whatever, never say more than you need to. Yeah. That's me though. <laughs> the words wrong me. <laughs> it doesn't mean you're in the wrong, it just means you're not saying more than you, you need to. Yeah. So there is actually a crossroads here we can do, although we won't do that, we'll go ahead because if you go right at that one it makes it more difficult to get to the others. Okay. So we're going to carry on ahead for quite a way.
Is it first or second for this? Uh, first. That's good, because yeah. that speed is low enough. It should be four, it was a little bit early when you got to one. Yeah. I'm just making sure your brake's not on. Is it? That's on in the driver. Yeah. It's also you can roll back. It's just a bad habit to sit on the brake. You can easily roll back. Sometimes people have forgotten they're on the brake and they're moving off with the brake thinking it's the gas. If you do come to one too early, what can you do so you won't bang? Cause you can. Yeah, that's yeah, that's okay. <laughs> that's it. It's an old thing we call blipping. It's more money called rev matching, but um, you yeah. can kind of rev and lift in one. It won't jump because you kind of soak some of the, the pressure as well. That's just the way of thinking about it. So which lane and why? Uh, left. Yeah. What's the speed? Forty. That's it. What's happening with the left lane on the other side of the road? Cars parked. So maybe there'll be some on his side, I'm guessing. Um, but if you do see one move as soon as you can, and be ready to move. Would it be safe to move at the moment? Yeah. So watch the speed I get too much. So we don't need to move. But if we do... Um, let me know if you see anything that would make us need to move. Maybe these yeah, cars here? Just make sure you get that separation there between <coughs> the signal and the moving to which I'm speeding. So you've got a signal, let it flash, then move. Because if you move on signal, it doesn't help. So like if we can return to the left lane in the moment, <coughs> if we didn't move on signal left about you, no, but like by a little bit. That's it, then you can move. That's good. And then straight on second right exit. That's got to come off. Rev the gas a bit, no, rev, 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 rev. So that way you get that. <laughs> so if you don't rev, you get a jump. You must rev, then if you clutch. If you just go one clutch up, bang, you have a huge thump. So you must go one, rev, 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 then if you clutch. Or preferably go to two. I'll rev that in a sec, because we're going to go to this one. So just make sure the speed stays down on this one. Because a lot of people here just speed. It used to be 60 down here. People still do it. So we're going to go round about right. It comes up quite soon. So which lane do you need? Right, it's over here. Can we get over? Yep, so right, second exit. Where are we going? I mean, it's hard to signal. It's like I'm saying, yeah. So. That again is like on a test sometimes. I've known examiners say, which way are we going? And they yeah. say, right, right. They're trying to say, you're not signaling. They're giving you clues, but they can't say it outright. That's all giving you a hint. Sometimes I've known examiners say things like, well, you know, the backside window is a bit steamy. They're sort of saying, are you looking at that? They can't say, check your blind spot, but they're sort of saying, you know, check your blind spot. <laughs> And they're saying, oh look, the window's still sleepy. And if you're <laughs> missing it, they're not looking at it. The same to you, look, you need to check your window more. They do help you a lot, sort of in code, as it were. Yeah. When people miss it, they just miss all these clues. So the lights will go right. So why can't you indicate, you no? Know, because you might be saying you're going in there. That's it, yeah. so the little road's still there. So straight to the right lane, how soon could you indicate? After that road? Like, no, that's good. So, definitely going to do one. <laughs> and then it's rev the gas a little bit, it's not too bad because it's low speed. That's good. And then we sort of twist to the right lot, clutch down, twist right along, more, 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 each one. That's it. So, any car could come down here. How soon can we go? After this back car. That's good. Which lane? Left. Yeah, that's good. Anyone overtaking? So next roundabout we'll do U-turn, just come back up to those lights. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. 
because we go through first, that's fine for the bus. If they're already getting through, you wouldn't make them stop. So round. Which gear? Put it on the table. That's right, because I'm ready to sneak in around. We won't go that morning, it'll be about one and two, because it's quite easy if it's hot to explain on the move. Why did you come off on that roundabout? Because we steered too much. Yeah. Not too much though, it's not even like the shape of the end, it's like an oblong shape. So if you come off, you must get it back on. Otherwise it looks a bit like you change your mind or you're coming off the next one. We may come back to that remainder of, because we're going to go around the service state quite a bit. Oh, there's no so the light's going to go right. This one is up to you to do, just like we did a few moments ago. Just make sure you sit on there. Why is that same point you sit on very early on these? So you're not telling them that you're going straight ahead? Yeah. Because you imagine that one in front, where are they saying that they're going? Uh, straight ahead. Yeah. If they sit away any time from now, that's really bad. Because if we were going ahead, they'd be blocking us. So a lot of people move off, then they signal, which is completely pointless. Because you a signal. <coughs> And tell someone you what you intend to do, what yeah. you're about to do, not what you are doing. If you say, oh, by the way, I'm turning, I already know that because you turned. you got to say, look, we are turning right. They probably will go wrong, I'm just guessing, because most people do through in that lane. But they should go ahead because they're not indicating. It's very annoying if you're behind someone like this, you're going ahead and you've planned it. Yeah. Then, yeah. Going ahead, then they signal and you think, oh, now I'm stuck. I don't even see the uh, that signal is pointless. They haven't told us a thing by the end. And how can that be a bit better when you stop behind that car? A bit further back. Yeah, that's it. I did really. So as soon as I slow down, mirror brake. And I'd avoid to go for the handbrake. You didn't put it on, but never ever even touched the handbrake you're moving. So if you go like that when you're moving, you Did I do it, it when I was moving? Oh you didn't, but if you touch it when you're moving, you yeah. might put it on. So you don't even touch the handbrake at all. Normally we say stop dead still two seconds, and then go for the handbrake. I just thought, because we're on a hill, I thought I'd better yeah. restart. Yeah, that's and good, it's just don't go yeah. for it. Just watch the speed on. Don't go for it too soon. So crossroads to go, right? So how soon can we indicate on this one? Oh, no, yeah. That's it. Now there is only one lane, but it still helps. Because how does it help the ones from ahead? So let them How does that signal help the ones from Letting ahead? them know that you're going to, at yep. some point, arrive. That van is coming, it's going to turn out. If they were coming here, that would help them a lot. So position, how far over can we go? That's good, because that's nice and early. That black one should turn at the beginning. No, it's forcing the way back in. That's exactly what we said. What so we signalled. <laughs> we signalled earlier exactly what we said, and he's flashing, saying you've got it wrong. He's got it wrong. You tell from the look on his face. Next left. That's just all me, an idiot, racing down the road. Go two, two, two. Not one. That is way too fast for fast skin. Well, why don't you go down to one so much? I just thought because it's a bit of a tight. So if you do no gas at all, no, no one around. No. So they roll. Yeah. That is still fine for two, nothing at all. The car just cruises. And if you go clutch down now, and now even back up like now. Back up? Yep, yeah, it's still fine. It's got to be very, very slow for one. So if you go clutch down into first, but leave your clutch down, and then rev the gas fairly loud, then if you clutch smoothly. So you don't get much more, you do get a bit of a jump, but you got to rev and lift your clutch to the right speed. you got to get used to kind of revving <coughs> and lifting the clutch just to the right momentum. If you do that, if you go clutch down again, no one's around it. Now rev your gas loud and keep you revving, then lift your clutch as it's revving, you got to rev. Lift it, That's yeah. it, so it doesn't jump. Yeah. So if you're revving, it soaks up the jump. We can't, yeah, we can actually go left because the motor's closed. So staying you one with the clutch up, can we just go? 
So far, yeah? Yeah. That's good. So you either come out in second or you come down to one and rev and match it like that. But it's much better than all these in stage two. It depends what the situation is. Sorry, I'm revving you. I'm sorry. So that's a great example there with that crossroads. I couldn't have worked out better. Someone didn't see the signal and then blamed us when they got it wrong. Anyway, and they didn't have signal to tell people they're going back in. So following be like a roundabout, just clutch up, clutch up, 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 up. Can we go? Yeah. You don't need your clutch down all. You can roll, follow to the right. Now you need it down because you can't see the left or So clutch one. Can we go? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. You could have done the second one in second as well, but I just couldn't see as well to that. But the point is you often don't need your clutch down. You can just clutch up, look, go. If you used to put it down, then it's no good. Okay, why am I doing this table? So, I'm usually alright. Think of what that car did one before. Yeah. That car that went ahead. So if you were going ahead, which lane would you go in? Right. No. Oh no, no, left, sorry, yeah, yeah. That's that car they wrong, you go left yeah. lane, that's where you don't get that. So right on this one first. Right, so we're yeah, going in. So, yeah. so down to second. Clutch up all the way. Can we go? No, so clutch down braking into one. Really slow. That's good. Now you don't have to rev too much, you've all been on much because it's low speed. How soon can we go? After this black car? Yeah, that's good. So if you're going ahead, that's why I say left is best, it's always left, if that's full, then you go in the middle, if that's full and there's another, then you go in the other. Yeah. You never just go like that car did right, blasting right through, no good. You won't see this on the camera, you can tell by looking at the driver's faces, you could tell he had no He was care. going like this, yeah. yeah. He just didn't give a damn about anything, he was going to speed, he was going to just do whatever. So we're going to take the end of the road, very end, we'll go left, and this is what's all going down there. This is a great example, it's actually worked out really well, I didn't plan this, but this is a great example. We're going to drop to one when you get there, because it's such a big hill, it's really steep, this one. Yeah. So we're going to go straight to one, then rev, creep. It's like you normally do, but it's just quite steep. So we're going left at the end, yeah? yeah? When can we sit on one year, but when? Yeah. No. So clutch down but don't brake into one. Rev the gas load, then clutch. Steer, can we go? No. Oh. Yeah. So, creep, crawl. That's really good. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Should have gone more left. Yeah, that's good, yeah. So, yeah. You can, that was great, but the main thing is the control was really good. Yeah. Because you went clutch one. Why didn't you have to brake there? There's a couple of reasons. Why? Because um, you had the momentum still. Yeah, because that hill was kind of killing the speed. So yeah. it held it for you. What else though, why would it not why would no one have cared if you broke it? Why would no one care if yeah. you broke it? Because there's no one around. Yeah, no one would be yeah. so no one's gonna care. So it's clutch down one, the hill was so steep by the time you break you would have stopped. So it's clutch one, the hill does it for you. And then you rev it, clutch up the creek. You can do that in second, but why would that be more difficult? Because you're trying to fight with the speed, I suppose, That's it. to keep in. Yeah, you've got to go faster up the hill, you've got to rev in, and it's, it can be done, but it's quite a bad view when we're the ambulance yeah. next to us. That was a quite quirky road, that one. That's it. <laughs> So what we're saying with this speed is either get speed right down and do one or keep it up and stay in two. Okay. But there is like a grey area between the two split. Yeah. So crossroads lights will go right. Right. That's good. If you were going ahead again you would not be in this lane unless you was overtaking because you're potentially blocking yourself. Is that white silvery car from ahead gonna turn or not? It's saying not. No. But we saw that with the other one. <laughs> so expect they're going to. I think I'm only guessing how thin they are, just because of the fact they're in the right lane and there's no one else there when they got there. They're probably turning. There's one behind us, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it was. Mm. Let's took it off right now. In, yeah. So it should be going straight ahead. Yeah. This is so important to know that if you signal early, it avoids most problems if yeah. people are looking. I saw him way back signaling. Yeah. So I thought, oh, he's following me. You see another break? Yeah. yeah. 
but you need to still get a very right. classic let's get it's just a bad habit people have to stay on the brake is a really bad habit because then you could slip or you could forget you're on the brake it's just not good and you can dazzle people behind you so it's up to you to do just remember that twist it's all about getting the twist like you did on the last one that was really good That's a really good position. Can you see? No. But I can. Can I creep? Yeah. And that is, we're getting some good examples here today. That is exactly why that method is not as good as the other one generally, because you can't see as well. Yeah. The bang, what's up when you move off? I was. I don't know. I was holding my brake, but I know. So what has happened a few times like when you did the gear earlier? What, what is it with the clutch that makes it bang? Because I'm holding the clutch down oh, uh, too fast, that's it. Yeah. So if your clutch is too quick, bang, you just got to be very slow and smooth when it's around that point. Well, I'm looking at it a bit because the crossroads are going really well. It's just the moving off, so I need to, to kind of tighten up. That's good, your position there is good, but you, you know you couldn't see whatever you did because of the way we did it. Nothing wrong with it, but it's the way it's done. Yeah. You can't see as well. We're going to go, not just yet in the moment, it's the next main road on the left, comes up just around the bend. That's like it, five seconds where that car's going. That's good. So nice and slow, which gear though. Yeah. Tip, that's good, the pedals are done. That's it. That jumps the same, she's your clutch a bit quick coming up. So it's not bad, that's not a huge bang there, but it's got to lift the clutch a bit slower. Can we keep going? That's good. Oh, yeah. That's good. That was great. Sorry. Okay, that jump was up. Because I lifted it too yeah, fast, didn't I? So it's <laughs> second row down the road. Second row on the way that lady is. That's it. So we're as slow as you can, but stay in two, unless we really have to come down, which we do because it's car door. <laughs> so clutch brake really slow, really, really, really slow. Then one. But you don't have to rev much, just a bit stupid ice to park. Why is that so bad to park there? Because it's close to the yeah, junction. This is what. Yeah. <laughs> this is terrible. This bend. This may not come across in the camera, but they're so tight that bend you can't get more than one car at a time though. So that's a really dumb place to park after a bend. It's so so short. So if you do no pedals again, because no one's around. So the thing is, if you lift your clutch slowly, it's easy. Or as you go clutch down now, I'm going to one. But lift your clutch as slow as you can, really, really slow. That's good to start that. Because the engine's doing the work, it went That's from it. eight to six. That's it, so you didn't you get that bang. Pull, yeah. That's good. Now, nothing wrong with that, but if you do it even slower, you won't even feel that pull, because it's so slow. So if you sort of lift it out super slow, half that speed. That's good, just like that. I'm not using the pedal camera because it's just too much faff doing all that as well. <laughs> but it's, um, that's good. I might put it in next time so you can see that, oh. but um, that's good. Well, we can't. Well, we can't. Now, if you try this one, if you brake a bit and get really slow. Brake? Yeah, and clutch down, brake off. Just gonna make sure no one's coming. This is a very quiet road, but no one around. No. If you get second gear now, and brake so it's too slow for second, but leave the clutch down. So clutch those down, <laughs> brake off. Now lift your clutch and hold it dead still as soon as you start to move. A little bit more, hold it there, no, wait, wait, wait. Then lift a little bit more and go. See, this one moves off in two. Oh, okay. So you don't have to move in one. If you do your clutch well, you don't want to do that because it's slow and people are thinking what you're doing. Yeah. But let's say you've got a situation where you, you can't take your hands off the water shines gear, you lift your feet very slow and just take it and go in two. If you lift it quickly, what would happen there? And you would bang. That's it. Definitely. So, not ideal to do that, but let's do it again, no one around it. So, clutch down. Imagine we brake in that red car is where the end of the road is. So we brake, brake, brake. And we should go one, but we don't. So brake off. You'll be able to clutch slow. That's good. And off you go. And next left. Now I know that isn't perfect, but that is better than bang, stall. Then you get smashed from the side. So sometimes it can happen where you just get stuck between two gears. 
and you can't take your hand off the wheel because you're steering on a tight bend like here. Why would it be much easier to do that here? So you're more prepared you're already in? What's going to help you if you get a clutch down now? What's helping us to move off? The hill. That's it. So if you break again and stop virtually dead like one or two miles an hour, should come to one but we don't for whatever reason, break off, let it roll a little bit, gas and clutch slow, and see it goes. It's yeah. all about your clutch speed. So much better to come to one, but if you are caught in second or you forget or whatever, you can do that. Another tight bit. That's good. So we just iron and go, any little things that come up, like the moving crossroads are good. So it's getting much more left and much, much more. So Can't should be iron, does That's it. it. Must look as they're going to hit the curb on this. If we're going to the road left, what do you think about getting as much left as you can when you get to the end? Right, you get to the end. Big, big, big turn, really big. Even more, 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 more. That's what it needs to be. More, 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 more. So when you go, you're really sticking in on that. good. If it doesn't look like that's wrong, you must look to you, Mark, yeah. because you're on that side of the car. It looks like you're going to hit the curb, it must look like that. If it all looks good, it means you're way too wide. Yeah. Do you want to do any more crossroads or are they okay? I can do some, yeah. Just, yeah. So we'll go right on the roundabout, we'll do a different one on the way back perhaps. Right on the roundabout. So, what's the view like on this? Is it open or closed? To the it's right? open for the right. So, so, we're going to stay in second probably, I'm only guessing, but it looks fairly clear for now. So it's still good, still good. We don't need the clutch at all. We're going to go around as much as we can. Easy. That's good. Can we even see not to come off? Yeah, no, see many. That's good. That shows your control is perfect because you had so much time you could even move a sinner, which is good. It's like you always say, planning's the best. Look. I suppose, I don't know, I suppose when you're driving for a while, do you get find that's easier? You planning. don't think about it because you're pushing all this into your subconscious, so you just do yeah. it. If you'd have come to one then, that would have been completely pointless because it was a good view, no one around. Coming to one would have been too straight, bang, thumb. Yeah. But even if you'd have not got the bang by doing what we did before, that would have been taking time and wasting time. Oh, my stepdad loves the videos, by the way. Oh. He sits there waiting for them to be released. I'm going to take the next right. Next right. So, what would you definitely not do first gear here? Because you can't see anything from your head. Oh. What's it? Why has it got to be two? Because it's a bit wide. That's it. It's a good view. The van behind. And the van behind. If you yeah. go to one, you'd be slowing right down and for the one. So end of the road, left to right, it's up to you. Which gear definitely and first. One. That's it. It's a bit confusing because I asked it in a negative way. If I ask you which one you don't want, it's more confusing. That's what I was saying last lesson at the start. So if I just said to you which gear do you want, that's a better way of putting it. So can we stay in second here? So far, yeah. And that's good because you let it kind of cruise on its own. And then end of the road will go left. So good or bad view? Um, bad. Yep, so which gear would it be? P1. Yep, because I'm asking about the gear, it's mainly the view, so like bad yeah. view one, good view two, maybe. Even third, perhaps, or big open road. If you're not sure, what's the safest thing to do, always? What's the safest thing to do about yeah. the gear? Yeah. So if we go right here, for example, say so if you weren't sure between one and two, which is the safest? Two. Not one. used to showing. Oh, yeah, one, yeah. One, you can always say right down. Not always, there are exceptions, but like now, if you're into the red left, what's the view like here? Not good yeah, so far, yeah. A big truck, whatever there. So definitely, this will always be slower. And which gear for slow? One. Yeah. Yeah, this would never be too easy, can't see a thing at all to be good there. That's the dual carriageway. And looking back in yourself, you could have been two, but you don't know that until you get yeah. there. Yeah. Why lane the right lane? Because of the van. Yeah. I know you said before, those cars are in the right lane queuing when you shouldn't be, but sometimes you think there is a reason. There's no choice, yeah. yeah. So, this could seem confusing because whenever we say it, there's always an opposite, but 
it isn't always safe to come to one. <laughs> Good example. There. It isn't always safe to come to one because you might go so slow, someone could misread what you're doing. I think he realised that it's. That's close. it. Yeah, that's good. But that will be their fault. If yeah. they hit you in the back, that's their fault for hitting you. But you don't interrupt them. So you can you can go on to talk about these hours and hours. But simply, if you can't see one, if you can't see normally second. Yeah, that's good you saw that vent in that car because that vent driver moved back over. So on the next slide, so I need to go right. No help on this one, it's just up to you today. Yeah. Clutch wasn't that's all the way good. down. That's good because you worked it out for yourself. That's the most important thing we mentioned before, that the most important thing you ever learn is one thing you're not tested on, which is if you can work things out for yourself. Like yeah. that. Even with the ambulance, that was good, because you didn't have to stop, there's no reason. End of the road, will go left. So I need to get this one as tight as you can to the curb. I won't talk through it, but just a one. mentioned before if you do it well like that you don't have to see much as you come out. So end of the road, let's go left. What's this situation kind of saying to you? Yes. Can't, um, Especially with her there, what's yeah, that saying? Yeah, saying it junction. She's right on the junction. So we're going left side. Well she's not right on it, it looked like it. That's good actually slow down one, well, that's good. This one at the end will go right. What's different about this one with the view? It's an open view, yeah. yeah. So can we stay in second? We could do, but let's see what it's like. Right, we go. That's good. Yep. Yep, that's good. So good. Now would be kind of wrong if you come to one because you would mislead people in a bad way. Yeah. There's no reason at all to come down. It would still be their fault if they hit you in the back, but you would have kind of made it, you know, harder for them. Yeah. That would be annoying, wouldn't it, if it's like still your fault, even though yeah. you can see it's clear, I suppose, I don't know. That's the one with the learner card, yeah, the yeah. outplay to say, keep back, yeah. keep back. Expect the unexpected. Yeah, we'll They've all been in the same position. We'll so end of the road, let's go. We're going to go ahead, because there's a very good road you can go on to practice what we've been doing today. So a different kind of crossroads, let's see how you do this. No need to indicate it, it doesn't matter if you do, because I know you, you know, it's sort of turning right, but if you're going straight up, you just point and go. Okay. It's not going to mislead anyone, so it doesn't matter, but this bend, I want to see you get as far left as you can, because you don't mind the buses come around here, your bus stops all around. So you're virtually scraping the curb as you go around to the right, so you're really far left. Is that right? right? That's it, that's good. Oh, and we got a... That's and then just going to continue ahead. Ahead? What is the to notice ahead? There's a couple of things you might see. Bumps. Yeah, that bump. What did you notice about the bump? The triangle. It, on how it? big is it? It's quite big. Massive, yes. If you is get it? clutch brake once, it's as high as the curb. Really, really slow. It's massive braking, braking, braking. Just roll very slowly. You will not want to go over that in second. That will be like bang. Because uh -huh. it's level with the top yeah. of the curb. So, next left. Next left. Where the brick bin is. Now this is finding one that's good because it's so steep. This is the point to slow your ride down because of school. This is a bit like an obstacle course up here. <laughs> so the end of the road will go left. What's going to slow you down as well as the hill? Bump. That's it. So like before we let the clutch do the work, let the hill do the work of the clutch. So just stay up for now but then clutch down no brake and back up on the clutch to creep. Down again. Very slow on the clutch, big, big turns. This is very technical, this road, it's very wow. awkward. And then next right. Right, there used to be an old TV show called Kickstart, if you remember that. It's probably before your time. No. Use kids on motorbikes, and they had to go the most challenging obstacles. They had them on hills, on 
they had to drive the wooden planks on top of buses on the hills and they had to clutch control with the bike and planks for like 10 seconds without moving. This always reminds me of that. You have to like jump over rivers on logs and whatever. It's a bit like, um, I don't know if I'm going to say it on the camera, but J Jack A double S. Sounds like it. I do. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> Do you not? No, uh, Johnny Knoxville? Don't know who that is. Wow. Yeah. I don't watch TV or anything, so I'm, I'm away. It's basically, <laughs> adults that do stunts that you shouldn't be doing, basically. Uh, so we're going around the bend. Now this one, actually I was going to say, it's not hard now because they're not down all flat. Yeah. You didn't used to be able to see around the bend, but it's a bit, 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 that's it. That's it should good. have been better, that one. I don't really watch any TV or news or anything, I'm kind of shut off from those things. Don't blame you. Right, I find okay. it's better that way. So if you're in a clutch right down, big bump, just practice. Gas clutch up very slow, that's good. That's great. Because it's all very low speed, kind of crawling, creeping. End of the road, we'll go left. I've got another one. That's good. It's not on the that's it, it's quite hidden, this one of these. So see how tight left you can get on the bend. Still clutch down. Because otherwise it pulls you over really quickly. Big, big, big turn, even bigger than before. Normal, that's better. That's good. You may see what I mean about that looks kind of wrong. It's not. That's just yeah. the way it is. I mean, you might, some people say. It did it look really like wrong. It looked like the road was too skinny as yeah. well. That's good. Talking about that, we're going to go back another way, which is another kind of obstacle course. Okay. This man's another obstacle. <laughs> we did this road once before from the other way, you might remember a few weeks ago, but we're going to do it from this way. I'm not going to say a thing, because I've been sort of distracting you with talking about the things. That's deliberate, see if you can drive distracted, okay. which you did. Now I'm just going to keep quiet, <laughs> and um, I'm just going to see how the last 15 minutes or so go, without me giving you any help. Not just yet, but it's a left past after the bus stop. You'll see there are some yellow bollards at the end unless they've been knocked over. So we're going left there, yeah? yeah? Just where you see where the yellow things are appearing. Where that person oh, yeah, in yeah. that coat's walking. We're going left? Oh, where that arm That's it. Uh, where the bike's come. Yeah. Because there's lots of roads here together. That's it. I can help with things like that, but I don't want to be saying now what to do. So just follow your head. That's a nice view of the church. Mm. Oh yeah, never heard that before. It's not too crowded. <laughs> This is on top of a big hill, so it's yeah. getting close. Do you recognise this? Is this the one where I didn't stop that's there? That's it, yeah. Uh, so imagine if you go yeah. from there, that's yeah. what it looks like. What should the people do as they're coming from the left? Do you see anything else? Sorry. Where should they position as they come round? More left. That's it. Because we had to do that when we came here. Yeah, And that's really good because you've got the low speed without the clutch thing, it's just nice control. It surely should be one way. <laughs> yeah, I used to live just here, almost. Just by there, it's, it's really bad when we had a bad winter. Yeah, imagine the ice. I'll show you one good example actually because... That's good. Many years ago, my car, while I was in the car driving, I skidded down here and I'll show you there's still a dent in the curb where I hit it. Really? It was so bad. I mean, the ice wasn't that bad, but I braked, so I'll show you in a bit. Because we get into the time of year when there's going to be ice. It's hard to imagine, but in ice you can brake and you just, nothing works. You can steer, brake. Even if you're going like two miles an hour, it just won't stop. Yeah. It's not a nice feeling. I would hate to. Is that you there? Uh, <laughs> no, it's just funny in a moment. 
I started raking them out here. Yeah. And it skidded all the way down and hit where the lamp post, black lamp post is. There's still a dent in the curb where my, my wheel hit the curb so hard, it dented the alloy. So I hear wow. for me, I was braking, it just wouldn't stop at all. I was only down like two miles an hour, but it just wouldn't give one stop. So that's how much you got to appreciate the ox. Because until you've had it, it's hard to appreciate. You think, well, I just stop. You, you don't. You can't, you can't yeah. Stop. It's like when you, you've seen those videos where the lads are like getting out of the car and they're slipping everywhere. It's, yeah. it's impossible sometimes. Yeah. You're fighting against the most slippery thing ever. <laughs> so we need to keep as much left as you can in just to practice. That's been really good, that road. And at the end of the road, we're going to go right. Now that van almost did it wrong there. <laughs> so they had a car around almost much, carried yeah. on it. Definitely wrong, she can't sit there. The reason I'm pointing these things out <coughs> is because when you see the people doing them, it's more obvious. You think, well, that's yeah. what I used to do. Like, if you come out of bed too quickly, that's how it looks. Not bad, but I was almost too quick. Okay, okay. The A30 on these are fine, because if you position well, you don't feel the bump. See the hill as well. That's it. Lots of power. This sounds bad, but the bump's there to position you more than slow you down. It's quite unusual to have speed bumps up the hill, but if you don't, people swerve around the other way to avoid downhill. So roundabout, let's go right third exit. That's really good. She did two, didn't work. One was good. That's good. We just want to. It's very small. Our chance. The main thing is just seeing them, because when you see them, you can tie them. It's better than not seeing them. Sorry, I'm ready. Right there. Sometimes I just good. find it easier to just get out of the way than yeah. mess around. Because that's why it's about like gear last, right? Steer then gear. The yeah. Gear is always the least. Well, it's hard to say always, but nearly always the least important thing. Not that it's not important, but it's the least important. I'm gonna break just in case. That's good. Because this one's horrible. Now that's good because if you use terrible, you did stay down, down enough, even in third. That shows your control is really good. Because if you did right too suddenly, I'm going to go straight on for a bit. If you did right too suddenly, then what would have happened? You'd have made them break really harsh. Absolutely. Somewhere along the line, there could have been a crash. <laughs> yeah. So, not wrong, but it is easier if you come down to see flat. You can do three, but it's much easier to break more to just in case. But the way you did it was really good because you controlled the speed well and you still looked, you still ready to stop, that's good. Yeah, I realised. Trouble with 30s, it's kind of, it's all okay and then suddenly you've you got to suddenly really change. Like <laughs> This fine in third because you can see yeah, way on their way back. What could go wrong here? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Right. That's good because I was slowing down. That's fine. If I weren't slowing down, you would definitely slow down. That's good. That. So you left and then back to where we began. We mentioned not doing this in third last time. You know about this stuff. Yeah.
point out as well to William, I watch it with you a little bit before and after we start filming, in case people wonder why he's like 53 minutes or whatever. We do a little bit before and after. So we're going to pull up anywhere good. Right, so what do you think of that? Better, I feel more confident yeah. now. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened with the first half hour, I was like a bit over the place. That's right, it's just that clutch was a bit quick. Yeah. That's because you think of other things. So it's just all clutch slow. You saw the benefit of when you lift it slowly like that, it crawls and crawls and crawls, and it kind of takes the pressure. That's just yeah. the right thing, like the two plates come together, lock and grip. Do like, you know? yep. When you see hills, you do panic sometimes, you're like, is the car going to make it? So. Yeah. I don't know why, sometimes I feel it's better to start, but now I can tell that. Yeah, it's good to stay creep. slow. Generally, the slower the better. Yeah. Because if you rush your feet, is when it all goes wrong. And the more you rush it, the worse you get. It's a bit lucky if you're sinking in quicksand, the more you thrash around, the more you sink. Yeah. So you've got to just sort of, the calmer you are, the better. So the crossroads are good. We had that one when a car came ahead. Be sort of a great example of when you shouldn't do that. So the left line is best if you're going ahead. Unless it specifically says you know, you've got to go in the right line. If two lanes go ahead on a crossroads, when would you go ahead from the right lane? Like the black car was. If you were overtaking. Yeah, so if you're sure no one else is turning right, and yeah. you're overtaking. Why would you not normally do that though? I mean, you know, one think about that car was flashing at us, whatever. Why is that not, you can, but why is it not the best thing to do? Because you're rushing, and yeah. you can uh, obviously, if you carry on driving like that, yeah. you know. Yeah, you know, crossroads, it wasn't very big, it wasn't very long. No, yeah, so that there isn't well. really anywhere to even. Overtake. So yeah. it's, it's marked out as such, but there isn't really anywhere to do it. Um, the gear thing, do you understand about that, about first and second? Yes. So First is mainly walking speed. I don't know what, like I said, I don't know what came yeah. over came me the first half hour. I was just all over the place and then, yeah. You got back. So <laughs> what kind of speed for two do you need you know, in terms of miles an hour? Um, I'd say anything over eight. Yeah, that's it. So yeah. roughly. But if you were to move off in second on this hill going down, how how could you do that in second and still do it that? slowly, like you did with the clutch? Yeah. What yeah. else could you do to make the clutch to help the clutch to do well? Accelerate. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So if you know that's fine, you don't want to because if you move off in second on that, it's kind of weird. You don't need to do it. But it's flight. So sometimes you can be turning. This is a good example. You're about to take a turn. You've mirror signalled. You've gone brake, clutch two, clutch up. Then I'll give them way, you go clutch down brake, then they flash you to go, or whatever. Yeah. Sometimes you don't want to come to one, you steer yeah, and you might come off. Too much at once, isn't That's it? it? Yeah. That's the big drawback of manual cars, you have to say hands yeah. off the wheel, where it's electric and auto or whatever, you don't, that's a huge advantage they have. It's the hardest thing I've had to learn, and I've got kids driving. Yeah. Hardest thing I've had to learn. <laughs> oh, yeah, well. But you've done really well. What else did you do? The gears on the way back, the view, or the, that sort of linked in together. Yeah. That obstacle course where I mentioned yeah. the TV thing. Yeah, so that's just all good practice for the creep and the crawling. Steering gear. Is that's it. You're going to remember. <laughs> right, so I'll leave it there for now. Thank you.